Let's see what utter trash awaits me on Facebook. Oh, here we go. Someone that I know from my previous life in publishing, they shared an article from rollingstone.com titled Georgia Lawmaker Proposes Requiring Permission for Viagra Criminalizing Vasectomies. The point, Representative Darshan Kendrick says, is to bring awareness to the fact that if you're going to legislate our bodies, then we have every right to propose legislation to regulate yours. Oh, we got three clap emojis. And like the cover photo is what I assume is the female senators dressed up as uh, like they're in The Handmaid's Tale. Lord have mercy. Let's click through to the link and find out more about criminalizing vasectomies. So this state rep writes an email to her legislative council. Subject line, testicular bill of rights legislation. Importance, hi. Good morning, Kendrick wrote. Please have the following legislation drafted. The 36-year-old Democrat went on to lay out her objectives as a bulleted list. Inquire men to obtain permission from their sexual partner before obtaining a prescription for Viagra. Ban vasectomies in Georgia and then criminalize the doctors who perform them. Classify sex without a condom as an aggravated assault. Require paternity testing at eight weeks of pregnancy and require expectant fathers to begin paying child support support immediately. Kendrick proposed a 24-hour waiting period on any men wishing to purchase any porn or sex toys in the state of Georgia. I'm dead serious, Kendrick tells Rolling Stone, adding that she expects a draft on her desk by the end of the week. The point, she says, is to bring awareness to the fact that if you're going to legislate our bodies, then we have every right to propose legislation to regulate yours. Okay, but the bill she's fighting against is about abortions, which... People have different opinions on this, but you're talking about a life. Well, let's put it this way. The reason that people are proposing that legislation is because they think that when you are having an abortion, that you are murdering a life. They're not interested in regulating women's bodies per se. I'm sure that there's some people who are, but for most people, it's an ethical position about the fact that they think you're committing murder. And you can disagree. That fetus doesn't have personhood. You don't believe in souls. You you believe that it's alive, but the mother's life and the mother's agency and decision trumps that life. But proposing legislation about banning vasectomies, that would be like banning getting your tubes tied. And honestly, it just trivializes the whole thing. It's like, oh, you're proposing this legislation? Well, I'm gonna have my council go draft up this thing banning vasectomies and getting men to obtain permission for their sexual partner before getting Viagra. Like, that has literally nothing to do with abortion. You're not addressing the argument and you're trivializing the whole thing and making yourself look like a jackass. That's what I think. And yet people I know, although don't really talk to anymore to be quite honest and fair about it, just fucking share this shit. And it's like, this is normal. Oh God, this is why old people shouldn't be allowed on Facebook this great left-wing meme. How come every right-wing solution to poverty, hunger, health, and employment involves giving rich people more money? Three question marks. And then the original poster wrote, because their cult members keep voting them in and allowing it, so they'll keep raping the U.S. Treasury, making us poorer, trying to pay for it. Lord in heaven. God, I hate people responding to stereotypes about millennials, like this one. Millennials killed department stores. Baby boomers killed the polar bears, but right, right, right. My deepest apologies to JC Penny. Just why even, just why even respond to the shit? You just sound stupid. It hurts me. It's like when I see someone share that shit, I'm just like, you will not see any of this kind of shit from me on Facebook. I mean, one, because I'd probably be ostracized, but even if so, I barely ever used like social media to post about myself. I mean, back in my middle school days when we were talking like instant messenger and you could put like passive aggressive away messages, like holy shit, yes, like everyone did that because I was a fucking 12 year old girl, okay? We all did it. And then I had like personal blogs. I had a Zanga, I had a live journal and that was different because I was writing about myself. I was writing about my life and what was going on. But but even when I got on Facebook, people post like this insane shit about themselves or they're just always sharing their stupid opinions. That's just never been me regardless. Like that has not changed about myself. So I just like scroll down Facebook and I cringe and I have to like mute people sometimes. Sometimes I don't just because I was like someday I will probably make a video about all this shit and here I am. So that's why some of these people are not muted even though like 
if we're being honest, they probably should be. I think that's enough for now. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, especially on this video because then I will know if you like this kind of content. I'm working on a couple of longer scripts, but in the meantime, I'll probably be posting videos that require a little bit less prep and effort, although I will try to make them, of course, still interesting. And I hope to have more content for you very soon.